Hello guys, this is WesternPacificWeather.com's third video update for Tropical Storm Songda or Chedeng. Tropical Storm Songda has entered uh, the Philippine area of responsibility earlier today and is now moving across uh, the Philippine Sea. Pagasa, the Philippines Weather Bureau has assigned the local name uh, Chedeng for, for the storm. Songda or Chideng is last located uh, about 1,450 kilometers east southeast of Manila, or about 380 kilometers north northwest uh, from the island of Palau. As of 6 Zulu, uh, sustained winds are at 110 kph with gusts of up to 130 kph. It is moving west northwestward at 18 kilometers per hour. Um, the storm has had steady intensification over the past 24 hours, although somewhat uh, disrupted because of dry air and still moderate wind shear in the area. You can see here uh, the storm looks uh, kind of rugged right now, although there is uh, another set of convection building on the uh, near the center and the wind shear map uh, indicating 10 to maybe even 20 knots of, of, uh, of wind shear there so but expect that to be low enough to to allow uh, Songda to intensify further uh, in fact I do expect the the next update by the JTWC will put this into a uh, into a typhoon status that's uh, not far away now and uh, streamline analysis uh, indicating that uh, ridge there and uh, expect this this storm to continue moving west northwestward then take that turn um, take that turn to the northwest uh, away from from, from Philippines away from Luzon and the computer models are actually in better agreement now uh, with the exception of uh, the UK model uh, we've been uh, we've been uh, taking note of, of this of this particular model which uh, keeps on forecasting direct hit on eastern Luzon we're not saying it's right we're not saying it's gonna happen but something to to keep in mind for for this model uh, for the rest of the, the computer models um, they are forecasting um, a close call for northeast Luzon but not to direct it uh, perhaps uh, some tropical force winds uh, affecting uh, Cagayan there and um, by uh, late this week should uh, Pass to the east of uh, of Taiwan and then turning towards uh, towards Okinawa and and Japan, and the uh, JTWC uh, has that forecast, a west northwestward track, and then turning to uh, to Taiwan and to Japan. Um, the strength they are expecting this to become a major typhoon, but. Uh, on um, three days, uh, two to three days from now, and uh, JMA forecasting showing the same thing here. Uh, turn to the northwest and then hopefully away from from Luzon. Pagasa, however, um, Pagasa is expecting a continuous west northwestward movement and um, they are actually expecting uh, a landfall now this is as of um, 11 a.m. From, from their forecasts and uh, news reports from the Philippines said they are indeed expecting a landfall from uh, uh, on uh, about late next week somewhere in Cagayan or Isabela now we showed you the computer models and the other forecasts uh, from JTWC and JMA now uh, we do think right now we do think uh, there is possibility uh, of a landfall 
but based on the trends and the recent developments, I do think that the, that possibility is low for now. Of course, we have to have to keep uh, watching the models and the other forecasts from 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 other agencies, as well developments from from the storm itself um, to determine the the exact uh, track that Songda will eventually take and uh, that is our forecast for today thanks for watching again the comments and suggestions and also uh, email us westpacweather at gmail.com leave your comments on our youtube page or vis uh, visit our website at westernpacificweather.com for those of uh, you living in the philippines uh, you can go to Pagasa's website for um, for official updates and uh, storm signal warnings from from the national agency there, and also have a visit their Twitter, which provides early updates. You can also go to storm2k.org for um, discussions with meteorologists and uh, other uh, other enthusiasts. So that's all for now, and. Uh,